What are you doing? This isn't Pimp My Ride. We didn't do anything cosmetic to the truck. There's no big reveal here. took the trailer up and Big Red and the trailer both are now about 100% finished. But there's just one more light we want to change, the utility light on the truck. But other than that, we're good. We're going to take it for a spin and take it down the road. Make sure that all the brakes are working properly and that everything turns. So, let's go. Watch out. Yeah, it's a whole different ball game when the trailer's attached to it. I got it down when the truck's by itself, but with the trailer, it's real different. Dad and I just got back from taking Big Red for a test drive and everything seems to be fully functional and in proper working order. So, all in all, this truck has had a lot of work done to it. But in the end, uh, it came out to, in parts, less than $30,000, which was our overall budget. The trailer was $15,000, the truck was $8,000, and we've put like $3,000 with the tires on and the rest was just in parts. We replaced things that didn't necessarily need it, anything that we weren't sure uh, would need to be replaced. We just went ahead and fixed it because if we were gonna sit down and work on this thing, we were gonna get it up into a good working order. Now, I'm actually kind of glad or, I mean, when we purchased this truck, I knew it needed work, but I didn't know that it needed quite as much work as it actually needed. And I even asked dad, I'm sure he'll say the same thing. I'm actually kind of not really glad, but you know thankful that we had to do a lot of work on this truck just because we are so much more familiar with this thing now so if we start to have issues we know right where to look um, before this I mean I didn't even know how 
semi brakes worked all i knew is that they were air brakes <laughs> but now i know everything right down to how to put them together and what makes them tick and um, even the airlines and everything so i'm just going to go through and talk a little bit about all the things or most of the things that i can remember off the top of my head uh, i don't have an exact cost because all of the papers are kind of uh, all over the place as far as like totals i do have about an accurate guesstimate on what this cost and it was just under 30,000 for everything but um, we're gonna go through and just talk a little bit about everything that we've changed so as I've said um, the brakes basically on the trailer all of the brakes s cams bushings brake drums wheel seals everything is new on the rear of the trailer so everything back there is pretty much new airbags the works on the truck uh, the truck was a little bit in better condition than the trailer was uh, we've replaced most of the brake drums, all of the brakes we've done work on. Um, I didn't think we had to replace any of the S-cams. They were still good. But the truck was, you know, just about as bad. All in all, I'm actually pretty happy with how things have gone. So looking at the front of the truck, um, the worst, probably the worst thing on this truck, um, at least the brakes in the trailer were working. The one brake on this truck that was absolutely not working was the front right one. So every time we would go to brake, the truck would lurch to one side, and that wasn't very good news. But now, after I've taken out and gone on test drives with it, it brakes like a truck should. Right now, granted, they are a little bit sensitive, but we went through and adjusted all the brakes to where they should be, and I think once we just get a little bit more use out of them, they will just ease up a little bit. Right now, they're kind of sensitive. But we, also on the front end, we had an issue after we had just finished the truck, we had gone through and done everything. We pulled it off to the side, and when we pulled it off to the side, right after we got done working on everything, uh, a warning light came on with the buzzer on the dash, and what it came out to be was the radiator temp light on the side of the motor. One of the se sensors went bad, so it was shorting out. It actually didn't have a ground, and it was setting off the buzzer in the truck. Dad did some research online, he found the issue, diagnosed it, and problem solved. It, it really was very pretty simple. All we had to do was pull a sensor out and put it back in. So uh, the drag link that attaches the steering to the wheels, that was going out. The bushings in it were shot. Um, it's not like it was about to come disconnected or anything, but it was it was shot. Did the front wheels. Let's see what else we got. The truck does have some oil leaks and radiator leaks. Nothing too serious. Uh, I thought it was a lot more serious than it actually is, but we've checked all the fluids and the radiator fluid was still good. Um, we need to change the oil in it yet with all the filters as well. Still need to do that before we actually get serious hauling with it. Um, what else we got under here? We did a lot of work with the electrical. All the chicken lights, as you can see here, are now fully functional and in proper working order. Um, new glad hand hoses. The glad hand hose that was on here before had a splice in it, which is not good news. So we went and replaced that whole works. Um, new glad hands on the trailer. We just today did some work on the tarp on the trailer. But um, new check valve on this air tank here. New shocks, new cab airbags. And um, trying to think of anything else on the truck that we did. I uh, did a complete diff flush on the rear end. So everything back there is in good working order. And uh, we've checked the, I've actually checked the fluid levels in it twice on the front and back. Um, both of those traverse rods were failing. The bushings were going out of them. They were all squished. And pretty well sums up everything that I can think of right now. Um, we need to get a new light for the far side over there on the truck. New batteries. Uh, one more thing that was changed on the truck was this tractor protection valve. Not totally sure what it does or what it's for, but after we had done some work on it, I'm not totally sure what made this crack, but I noticed that when I was pressing the brakes in, there was a hissing coming from the back end of the tractor, so I had Dad go back there and look for me. We figured out it was coming from this thing. Um, basically, it just had a crack in the top and bottom. It was basically just split in half. <laughs> uh, that's fixed now. This thing holds air like you wouldn't believe. 
So that's pretty much everything on the truck. New airbags, um, the rear end on it was, like I said, is pretty much completely gone through. Um, on the trailer today, what we did was I sat down and did some work on the doors. The issue that we were having before was that the doors were pretty tight and I got down there, greased it, uh, took out some of those grease zerks, cleaned them out, made sure that they were working and it actually opens a little bit easier now. This trailer, this wiring, I'm not totally sure what the deal is with it. Um, <laughs> we were looking at the wiring on the back and I unplugged the harness and the lights and everything still worked. So it, it kind of seems like that harness didn't do anything. The ABS and everything still worked, um, which brings me back to the ABS. Dad did some work on the ABS as well. That's working like it should be. Replaced a few lights. This is a brand new light. Lights up on top and just around this didn't have a very good ground. So they were either flickering on and off at times um, or they weren't working at all. So we took them off, ground off, um, kind of rubbed off all the oxidation underneath and put it back on. They've been working ever since. Just today, Dad and I flipped the ratchets up on the top side of this trailer. So when we close the tarp, they won't rub on it anymore and poke holes through it. Now uh, we have the doors open on it right now. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is probably open up the tarp and let it get rained on inside um, after sitting all winter. Uh, I think it could use a nice wash down again. So anyway, with that, um, I'm gonna be using this within the next few weeks here to start hauling some grain. Uh, I have a lot of practice to do with it yet. I'm not just gonna hop in and start hauling. Um, I would like to get a little bit more road time with it before we get serious about hauling any grain. Um, just so I'm more comfortable with it. Even though I am, I think I'm starting to get the shifting down. Now, the only thing that I haven't mentioned is that one of the wheels on the trailer, we took to tandem tire and had them replaced for a used one. Uh, it was down to two thirty seconds of an inch, which is pretty much illegal. So we went and changed that one out to one that has like eight thirty seconds of an inch and it's actually on par with the other ones that are on the trailer. All in all, I think the deal with this truck, uh, it was a great deal. Um, we'll have, just have to wait and see. Hopefully she doesn't let me down, <laughs> but, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So we'll just have to go from there. So with that, be sure to watch out for any upcoming videos where we're using this thing to haul down to the grain elevator because it's going to be a learning experience for me. With that, uh, that's about it for this vid. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time. <laughs>